Aloha and welcome to Restaurants Hawaii on Think Tech Hawaii. My name is Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association. And today our conversation is on the Hawaii Restaurant Card. Yes, that green card will be expiring on June 30th next month. And so in six weeks, we want everyone who's got it to please go out and visit your favorite restaurant, coffee shop, bakery, bar, and tavern. And I have two guests today, so I'm going to ask them to introduce themselves. Ladies first, Sherry. My name is Sherry Yuen, and I am actually the sales manager, the broadline sales manager with Waihata. And uh, we are located in Sand Island. We also have our chef zone, and we are statewide as well. Thank you. Welcome. Andy? Hi, my name is Andy Wong, and uh, I'll be BNCO Falls of L&L Hawaii. Um, I'm sure um, everybody's been to L&L uh, during their lifetime, you know, but um, yeah, so I oversee the uh, franchise operations um, throughout the nations, and in Hawaii, we have about 66 locations throughout the island. Welcome, Andy. Thank you both for joining me today. Today, our conversation is around the Hawaii restaurant card that actually started in October of 2020 when Governor Ige approved CARES funds to help our Hawaii food service industry, uh, which was one of the industries that was most impacted by the pandemic. At first, it was those on unemployment, that was Hawaii restaurant card 1.0, and then the PUA, the pandemic um, unemployment assistance, and then the third version of the Hawaii Restaurant Corp was supported by our local businesses. It was privately funded by businesses. It was banks, financial institutions, construction companies. Businesses started purchasing the restaurant card to help infuse um, money into our economy, into our food service economy. So for those who have the card that has the most recent card, it's green. And those were purchased by somebody who really wanted to support the food service industry here in Hawaii. So please, today we're having a conversation to ask you to please go out and use it. So let's talk about a little bit, Andy, of how the restaurants that you've seen has seen the impact from the Hawaii restaurant card. Do you want to share about what you've seen? Yes, um, you know, thank you for letting me share. And, you know, during the first round of uh, the Hawaii restaurant card, we actually, you know, see about 30, 20 to 30 percent of our sales um, coming from this card, you know, especially during the, the heaviest hit when uh, the lockdown happened and people's, you know, income got, um, you know, a lot lower than they normally made. So, you know, people are spending less outside with this car. It's actually, you know, you kind of bridge the gap between the people who still eat dining out and also, you know, using the car to spend. So we we really, um, our franchisees are um, really got supported by our, you know, community. So we really appreciate that car. That's awesome, Andy. I heard so many stories how restaurants really were so appreciative of the card. It's what kept them going during the pandemic. And so that's what today's all about talking about, you know, how it's helped um, restaurateurs and also the suppliers. So when our restaurants, bakeries, coffee shop, bars and taverns are serving more meals, they support our local farmers, fishery, and suppliers by placing more orders. One local supplier of food is Waihata, who is locally owned and operated, and they are a wholesale food distributor who has been doing business in Hawaii for 109 years. That's right, next year, 2023, marks Waihata's 110th anniversary. So congratulations to Cherie and Chef Zone as, and, and Waihata as a food distributor. Cherie, could you please share with us how you saw the benefit of the Hawaii Restaurant Card and how it helped the food service industry in Waihata? 
Well, for our Ohana here at Waihata, you know, we, we strongly believe in locally owned and operated businesses, whether it be restaurants or just companies in general, you know, so we want to support every which way we can. We have seen an uptick in sales and um, even through the pandemic, you know, there we it, it was a, a rough start, but as time went on, it was exciting to see that a lot of these even small businesses still survived and thrived through the pandemic. Um, so when a program like this is um, presented, we really try to support and get behind it. So um, when we see those restaurant tours coming through those doors at Chef Zone, it's, it's a really feel good feeling that we still see them on a regular basis and, and that their sales are going up and they're still able to um, be successful during this time. Thank you, Sherry. Yes, during this time, Andy knows I have been out there reminding everyone if you haven't used your Hawaii restaurant card, they're expiring at the end of June, June 30th. So I have found people who still have them in their wallets completely forgot about them. So I remind them, you know, the person who gave this to you really in their heart wanted to support the food service industry. So please, it was a gift. Please go out and use it. Um, Andy, do you have any story that you want to share with us? Yeah, you know, it just so happened. Um, I was talking to one of my colleagues and, you know, about um, this 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 show that I'm gonna be on and talking about the Rishon car. And then as I was talking to her and she was like, oh, I have one in my wallet. I was like, why didn't you spend it? You know, like this is this is why we have these cards. And it's like, okay, wait, I, I really need to. And a lot of people didn't know there is an expiration date on it. You know, not like a normal gift card. You can you can keep it for years, but this this does expire at the end of June. So you know, got to go out there and spend it to help our local business. So, you know, especially, you know, we're in Hawaii and um, the restaurant is, is one of the biggest industry. Well, if that's, you know, if not the biggest industry in Hawaii. So, you know, all this local business, when we receive these cars, we get to keep our employees. We can keep them on payroll and they, if they, you know, and then they can continue to earn an income. And then they can go out to the other local restaurants that they support to spend the money. So the the dollar goes around a lot longer if you spend at the local business. And we already see so many local, um, locally owned family restaurants closing down. So we really don't want to see any more of the restaurant uh, closing down. So then we really appreciate all the local support that kept our business going. So. Thank you, Andy. And you're right. It was it, this community, you know, we're so blessed that we live here in Hawaii and our, we are so community minded. As I mentioned back in 2020, when Governor Ige approved the CARES funds to help the people who are on unemployment and the PUA, the Pandemic um, Unemployed Assistance Program, you know, he introduced all of the CARES funds into the economy. And then the businesses got around it and said, hey, how can we support by giving out, as, as we mentioned, gifts to people to go out and use the restaurant card. It was a collaborative, it was a collaborative um, event. It never, you can never do anything by yourself. So really a big shout out to American Savings Bank, who was absolutely the biggest partner because we needed a bank to, to create the debit cards to distribute the debit cards and American Savings Bank, kudos to them because they stepped up all four times to help distribute all the restaurant cards. And that they even agreed to do it last August for this latest green card is amazing. So, you know, it was a collaborative event for everyone to get together and do it. Um, it is a pure debit card. It's a pure a MasterCard. So when people are using it, you know, I just want to say because there was some confusion between the original, which was CARES funds and these that are locally purchased, is you can definitely put food on it. You can even put your cocktail on it. You can put your tip on it. So it's a pure debit card. So enjoy your favorite cocktail beverage also. So Sherry, have you heard any yes. stories about how people have used the Hawaii restaurant card or 
Has any of the people that Waihata did purchase a lot for their employees? Yes, um, we have gotten some great positive feedback. Um, during the holiday season, we purchased over a thousand cards and we actually distributed them um, during Christmas season for our, our holiday gifting to every employee um, in order to support. And we also, every holiday season, we also give gifts to our um, customers. So rather than, you know, giving the traditional gift basket and whatnot, we decided to give a really nice holiday card along with the Hawaii restaurant card so that they can either pour it back into their business or use it for their teams to perhaps do a family meal and whatnot. But just to keep it all, like Andy mentioned earlier, just to keep it all in uh, our industry and the economy. And hopefully uh, these little tokens will help um, you know, just give back to them. Yeah. So important. And there's a poster. So for those that are listening to this recording, um, there's a poster. And if you don't have it, you can go ahead and email me and contact me through the Hawaii Restaurant Association website. It's hawaiirestaurant.org. Andy, are all of your restaurants, do they all have the posters up? Yes, um, I we you know as soon as I got the poster, I sent it out to all the locations, and you know who doesn't want to get more business, right? So you know we have it posted at all our, our locations uh, throughout the nation, uh, throughout throughout Hawaii. That's excellent because we want to encourage everyone. You don't have to register for it or anything. It's a pure debit card. So all restaurants, bars, coffee shops, bakeries, you know any food establishment can accept the Hawaii restaurant card. So please put that poster and it's a green, it shows the green card and it says Hawaii restaurant card, welcome here. So that the, the people who have it in their wallet say, hey, I have one of those cards in my wallet and they come into your establishment and use it. So. Yeah, well, yeah and, then, and then I, I also uh, talked to some of the customers that are using the car, you know, they, you know, ask them, oh, how do you like the car? It's, it's great. And they actually made a point to visit all their favorite local business. I was like, that's very, that's great. Thank you so much. You know, that that's what we need, you know, the local support. Yes, this was a very amazing program. And we thank all the people that were behind the Hawaii restaurant card and all of the partners. And so, you know, in, the spirit of everything going on, it's now, it's now that the restaurants really need this support. So because it does expire at the end of June, you know, restaurants are still challenging, challenged with rising costs, right, Andy? Um, supply chain disruption, right, Shuri? Okay. And worker shortage. So we need our community support. And if you have a restaurant card, and even if you don't have a restaurant card, please support your local food establishment. So let's talk about how it's been recently. Um, Sherry, you want to tell us a little bit about how it's been over at Waihata and Chef Zone? Sure. Um, you know, we have seen such an increase in sales, which is a good sign. Um, but at the same time, with uh, supply challenges, we are trying our best to ensure that all of our restaurants and restaurateurs and these companies are all taken care of and they get what they need. Um, we've seen a lot of pivoting through this time, right? Things that you have uh, probably not have expected in operations or, um, you know, even labor, the, the streamline uh, crews or teams that these companies work with you know there's a lot of pressure on them as well so um we as the in just in business we're learning how to just navigate through this time and develop ways to really show gratitude and take care of our employees right um by just being there for them uh through this time and we're all in it together so we're not alone. Every business is faced with these challenges and whatnot. So hopefully we see um, brighter times, you know, looking forward. Um, but if you turn on the news, we hear a lot of 
the entire nation and the world in general just struggling through this time. So um, again, a lot of pivoting. So we at Waihata, we want to find those opportunities where we can find solutions for our customers um, that they may not have been open to before or in past, um, but looking for those opportunities for them or alongside them. So we just got to hang in there, right? Beautifully said. <laughs> Beautifully said, and you're so correct. Um, the stories that I hear every day, as you know, restaurateurs are constantly calling me and, and, and letting me know that we're asking the community for their patience as we, number one, are going through the employee shortage, as every industry has been impacted by the lack of employees. Sometimes their wait is a little longer. You know, if you don't make a reservation, yeah. check it in. The other part is, you know, the menus change because of the supply chain disruption. Sometimes we can't get the items that normally were on our menus. So menus are changing. And the price of just everything, the price of being in business, the price of living in this world, Gas prices are going up and it's affecting a lot of people. So you're right, Sherry. It's just been a very challenging time and we just ask our community for understanding and support. So Andy, what are some of the um, challenges that you all are going through and hoping that we have people with restaurant cards coming to your locations to help offset some of those challenges? Yes, definitely. Yeah. So the rising cost of the supplies, that's the biggest issue right now. You know, we, you know, we're, we're, we're you know, a family a quick service restaurant. We, you know, do a lot of takeouts and we try to keep our price down as low as possible, um, you know, to support the local community. But there are things that, you know, that we, we just can't control and it's, it's eating into our profit margin. You know, most of our uh, locations are family owned, right? So um, because of their family loan, they they kind of understand that they, they didn't want to increase the price. So they're just, you know, getting hurt by getting, you know, less profit, but they can still survive. And um, the, the biggest challenge, another challenge is finding employees, right? So we're, you know, we're shorthanded and how do we pivot from, um, you know, having shorthanded is just, you know, either they work longer hours and they find other ways to um, offset the labor. So, you know, we, we're looking into uh, kiosk ordering, you know, so then you don't have to wait in line. You don't have to have two cashiers. You just have one cashier and another person can punch in the order. And we also have our LNL apps, right? So we're promoting our apps. And also, the, you know, so the, the customer can just order in advance and just pick up and also the, the delivery service, right? So offering the delivery service also help, uh, you know, small, you know, people that works for the delivery service, right? So then, then keep them employees. So that also helps the economy as well. Um, yeah, so all that. And so we're, we're celebrating our 70 year uh, anniversary this year. Um, so we're still going strong. Uh, we just hope, you know, with the community support, we we look forward to continue to to grow and to 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 survive, to thrive. Right. That's terrific. You know, we definitely. I mean, when I hear that you seventy year anniversary at LNL and next year one hundred and ten year anniversary for Y Hotel Hawaii Restaurant Association, this year is our seventy fifth anniversary. And you know, because of the pandemic and everything, that's something that really hasn't been on top of my mind because we're just trying to get everyone through this pandemic as things keep changing quickly. But the restaurant card, you know, to our listeners and viewers is if, if you have one, we're just asking you to please go to the restaurant and support them. Um, if you don't have one, please still continue to support our local economy. So we're getting ready to wind up in a little bit. And I just wanted to give each of you an opportunity to just you know, share with us any closing statements and your hope for the future. So Sheree, you want to go first? Ladies first? Of course, yes. You know, um, as we go through this uh, time of struggle or challenge, you know, we still have to remember the positive that we have 
you know, and appreciating the employees that come day in and day out um, to make this all come together, just like our restaurants. It's so, um, it's not easy, but it, it's sometimes, um, I know that these uh, owners, operators face that challenge to close their doors, you know, and is it easier to do? Can we sustain? Should we sustain, you know? So by our community coming together and just, um, supporting them, it really helps, you know, and I know our owner, Russell Hata, he's so, he's such at the forefront for giving to people, um, not just to all of our Ohana here at Waihata, but to the community, to the schools, you know, funding programs and whatnot, and it just helps us to take a step back to realize that we have to take care of each other, especially during times such as these, you know, and it, it, it may not make the situation um, better or the, the, the whole logistics and, and everything else, but it helps us to get through the time and stick together and encourage each other um, until this is all over or until it gets better. But I do see it getting better. Um, we do have um, updates and changes from our supply chain and our manufacturers and whatnot. So all we can do is hope for the best and um, do what is outside of our box to make things better. Yes, if anything this pandemic has demonstrated is like you mentioned, Sherry, the businesses that their strengths were definitely shown. You know, when Russell had told me and said that he did purchase for his employees and all of his business partners, the Hawaii restaurant, because he knew that this would help the whole food service industry. I was like, thank you, Russell. Thank you so much. I think he did it twice um, in 2021 and then in 2020 also. So now to Andy, do you have any comments, any um, closing statements, and any hope for our future? Yes, uh, like Sherry said, you know, um, this is the, doing the, the hard time, it really showed that, you know, the love from the community, right? So we, um, we really appreciate the community come together and supporting our local businesses. And, you know, we, we were fortunate that we were able to survive through this hard time and, you know, and to, to share our love to our communities, right? So, you know, our founder, um, Eddie and Johnson, they both very um, uh, involved with the community. So we, we, we you know, we really see, uh, especially the, 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 after the market's opening up now, uh, we have, you know, seen a lot more business. Our business are uh, continuing to, to to um to go be positive going forward um so we we really look forward to the the better future and um um in this that i i know things gonna get better you know it, it's tough now but it will get better and we will we will make it yes and and it's like you, you both said we just want to look towards the future and just hope and pray for a better tomorrow. We're thankful for the Hawaii Restaurant Card Program, as I mentioned to Governor Ige for the first round with the CARES funds, with American Citizens Bank, who keeps saying yes, that we want to get at least the support out there by, you know, supplying these restaurant cards to the food service industry. And you can't purchase the Hawaii Restaurant Card anymore. The program ended last year. 2021, but um, if you do have a green card or if you know somebody who has the green Hawaii restaurant card, please remind them that it does expire at the end of June. And visit your local bakery, coffee shop, bar, tavern, and restaurant because you want to support them who will then support the farmers, the fisheries, and the schools such as the World Hotas. And we want to be, remind everyone you can't put cocktails on that card because it's a pure debit card and you can also leave your tip on it. So again, if you have any questions, email me at the Hawaii restaurant.org. If you restaurants, you need the poster, just email me and I'll send you the digital file. You just print it up and put it in your window or windows to let everyone know that you're definitely 
um, accept the Hawaii restaurant card. And in closing, you know, the food service industry is still struggling. We're struggling with the rising cost of food, supplies, gas, just the rising cost of everything due to what's going on in the world. And so we're looking for community support and patience through this. The food service industry thanks all of our businesses and all of the supporters that support us as the Hawaii Restaurant Association is the voice for what these restaurants and food service industries here in Hawaii. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.